it is so hot in this room. I don't have a temperature gauge, but it's going to be easily like 35 degrees. I am absolutely sweating buckets making this video. I hope you appreciate it, Simon. Hey everyone, it's uh, Simon, otherwise known as Autumnus Prime, here once again to do a quick video. Um, this time I received a box. This came this morning from Pine Time Toys. I've been waiting for this for quite a long time and I'm very excited. So, um, so far I've had this for about two hours. I have unsealed it but not actually opened it, so this is as a as fresh a reaction as you're gonna get so let's go what could it be although that said the title of the video probably already told you what it is but i'm gonna pretend it's a surprise so Ooh, it's quite big that's what she said right one hand there. Made a mess. Quick FYI, I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday the, I don't know what the date is today, 11th, 12th, who knows. Um, it's boiling hot, it's about 30 degrees outside, 32 I think, um, and this room has no ventilation and I've turned the fan off so it doesn't make a noise. I may die making this video. Anyway, trusty knife. Let's get rid of some of this tape. So excited to save the bubble wrap. <laughs> Noises. Okay. So, this is Toy World Tactics Waistcoat. Marvel, marvel at it. Tactics Waistcoat. Um, let's get it out of this plastic sheath. The box itself is the same on both sides, and the same on the side, and the other side, and the other side. It's not the most imaginative packaging ever, but hey. Um, so this is the deluxe version. The regular version has been out for quite a while. I'm sure many people have seen it. Um, I decided to opt for the deluxe version because why not? Uh, extra weapons, I think, and a few other things. I think there's a voice chip. Excitement. Um, this has been long delayed because apparently there's some issue with shipping out of China due to uh, batteries, I think. Um, so I don't know whether the batteries are included or whether they pulled them out. Um, who knows? Right, so it's got tape here. Just gonna... Oh, it just comes off. Don't ruin the box. Oh, magic. Came off without ruining the box. Ah, standard vac formed clear plastic trays of excitement. Jeez. It's quite weighty. Okay, so we have a bag. The bag contains a plug. Interesting. I did not know this was mains powered. Okay, so we have lots of sellotape stuff in this one together. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so there's two two layers to this. The let's see, boring layer first. The boring layer contains a stand. A stand. Uh, a 
there's a there's an alternate head there's a, a thing I'm not sure what that is there's a big ass axe there there's some wheels on the back here alternate parts basically um and yeah that's all pretty cool there's lots of gubbins and stuff in there oh and look there's some blast effects that look to be uh, almost identical to some of the blast effects from Siege. So, just KO blast effects there. Get to that in a mo. And then the more interesting box. He's uh, Optimus Prime. He's entombed in his me too. Okay, right. Is that off? There's a sheet of doom here. Cool. That can come off. And then there's an alternate piece there. Or these pieces need to go on. I don't know. <gasps> there's a loose piece. It appears to be part of his leg assembly. Has popped off. Let's hope that's not an issue. The hand has also popped off. He's popped off all over the place. Right. Let's get this bad boy out. Right. Pop him down. Stay. I dropped him. Let's get. Jeepers. That is a ridiculously big gun. That is insane. I mean. You can see how big that is, that's bonkers. And then his standard rifle. And then a small rifle. A pistol. Ooh. So here's the metal rod that holds these pieces together that appears to have all come disassembled for some reason. Find out about that in a bit. Alternate hands. Ah, see, they've done the thing. They've done the thing. They've done the the, the hands that are very much like the, uh, the the three A one. So they're sort of standard. Ooh, quite rubbery, rubbery. That's quite good. So it's gonna get things in there quite easy. Um, as opposed to the posable hands. Also comes with posable hands, posable fingerlings. Cool. Right. Uh, there's loads of alternate parts. There's uh, bits that I assume are for Earth mode as opposed to Cybertronium mode. Uh, yeah. Let's pop that down. Right. Let's just get him steady up. Ooh, chonky chonks. He is, quite frankly, Chunky. Not sure quite where that is supposed to be. Okay, let's have a let's have a quick look. So he's very nice, very very metal. Uh, appears to be some kind of ab crunch thing going on there, which you know, some parts not quite locked in, but I'll uh, play around with that in a minute. Um, he's got a hand come off, which I'll pop on in a minute. The ball joint is there, so it hasn't broken. Good to know. Always the worry when you open something for the first time. Is it all going to be broken? So one of the things people complained about with this guy is... You can see he's got a very, very tiny ball joint for his neck. There's quite a bit of movement there. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so... What I'm going to do very quickly is just uh, pop him back together how he should be, and then I'll do a couple of comparisons with a couple of other similar veined Optimus Primes. So no time will do get be um, different for you, but I'm going to take a couple of minutes to have a quick play. So goodbye, and we're back. See. You. So um, I've had a little bit of a play with him. I got all of the bits out of the box and I've had a look and here he is in all of his glory. Uh, so the parts that had uh, popped off on the, uh, in the box, one of which was one of his little, little leg gubbing things here, 
Uh, the pin is just really loose and popped out. Uh, might need a little bit of glue just to keep that to stay on, but not really a bother. Um, I do need to have a look at some videos and instructions for this guy because um, I'm not quite sure if his chest is completely right. It's, uh, it tends to sort of sink down if I try and move him too much. It sort of goes up like that and looks quite cool, and then it just sort of sinks back down again. Who knows? Um, I can't really tell where exactly it should sit. It feels like it should be about there, maybe? Yeah, but it'll flop down again in a minute. Also, these, uh, these little windscreen wipers, they're rubber and they are really, really, really difficult to put on. Um, but, you know, I, I, I managed it. Um, so I haven't done a lot of posing with him at this point, um, but his, his leg move is pretty good. Nice, nice joints on the leg there, go almost all the way back. Um, feet have got a nice... Nice tilt there, uh, and a fair amount of movement, toes, all, uh, all movie movie. Um, he's got his tyres at the back there, if you can see, they're completely treadless for Cybertronian mode. Um, you do get a set of earth ones, um, nice and weathered, uh, with some tread in them, which uh, have gone away into some of his accessories, I'll show you those in a second. Um, right, messed him up a bit so he doesn't stand up quite straight, but that's fine. That needs to move up, up, up. Oh, -ho. yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. So he's got the usual uh flappy flaps around his butt and the front for pivoty, awesome looking robot flap action yeah um he came with a plethora of batteries um, one of these and some of these at this point no clue where they go the alternate head which have a, I don't know how you can see that because my lighting is shocking but anyway, it's sort of differently painted and also he only has two horns, whereas the other one has the little inner ones, you can see, probably not, who cares. Um, and also this one came with batteries pre-installed for light up eyes. Staring into your soul. Um, yeah, cool. So that's that. It's really hot in here. Um, yep, yeah, so the hands uh, have got sort of full range of movement as you'd expect from a half decent third party figure these days. Um, all finger knuckles work, all thumb does thummy things. Uh, yep, yeah, can grip a gun. Which is obviously a good thing to be able to do if you're on Optimus Prime and you're holding a gun. Now the downside is there is only a very very tiny ball joint. Uh, you can quite see it's only a very tiny ball joint holding this hand or both hands on. Uh, it's quite loose so there's a bit of a tendency for floppy gun syndrome. Okay. Uh, but that said, you can see he is holding his standard Optimus Prime Bumblebee movie rifle gun reasonably well. Um, for posing sake, it'll be fine. But um, yeah, it's not it's not great. Uh, you also have the knockoff siege blast effect. Which you can plug in the end. And Activate pew pew noises. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, if you wanted to. Um, I'll get that off there. Accessories. Let's just pop his arm down so he's not straining that wrist. Oh, poor Prime. So he comes with a bunch of accessories, as is the deluxe version. 
it's uh, alternate head. I don't know if that comes with the normal version, but there's an alternate head. Um, Mega Death Axe 1. It's redonkulous. Redonkulous. It's huge. Um, you can sort of pose it a little bit, so if you wanted to have it stabby axe, or maybe bigger, choppier axe, all sorts of axe. And if that wasn't enough, also the second axe, which is the same as the first axe, only different and smaller. Um, they fold away and combine into what I assume is a shield. It's quite cool. I will probably never pose it with that. As seen before, it also comes with the ridiculously huge gun. It is taller than he is. Um, does have quite a nice sniper stand there. So if you fancy having Optimus Prime as a snipey snipey man, you can snipey snipe away with his snipey snipey gun. And uh, this blaster, which looks very much, if I'm not mistaken, like the War for Cybertron blaster that came with the Hasbro Deluxe figure, which is a nice homage. Um, and this gun, which is uh, a bit like Robocop's gun, or RC's gun maybe. It's cool, I like it. Also, he comes with two giant crates. Not really sure why. They look cool. Um, they don't fit on the stand at all, so. Uh, but you can put all of his accessories and gubbins, like I have, in there. Yes, all these spare bits and the alternate pieces. So you've got pieces to make him into Earth mode as opposed to Cybertronian mode, which replaces his smokestacks, um, a piece on his arm, I think. Uh, as well as you got alternate tyres, and I think the hubcaps come off to make him look more earthy. But I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, I'll work out where all the batteries and stuff go later. Maybe I'll do a follow up video with lights and sounds. But what I do want to talk about is the base. This was the, the, the thing that apparently they were having all the problems with, which is what delayed the deluxe version with, uh, of um, him and uh, now it's here. It's it's a base. It comes with a pretty much identical standy thing uh, to the uh, the 3A version, uh, which gives you a degree of support. I haven't plugged that in yet. I'm not going to do it now either. So. Let's just pop him on the base. Stand up. Of course, messing with the legs now. I put him at a slightly jointy angle. So let's see. Oops, stay still. I can see this. Base mode. Base mode. It's a base. It's a base. It's not very exciting. But it is plugged in to this here plug here. So thus powered. What will it do? Well, I'll show you. So first of all, uh, when you turn this jobby on, nothing happens, but you did get this remote with an A, B and C button. Uh, a and C turn on the two sets of spotlights. So, you can't really see, but his legs are now spotlit from the front and behind. And I'm sure if you turned all your lights off and it was dark, it would look exceptionally impressive. Um, I'm not going to, uh, but I could, but I'm not going to. Um, and <laughs> I tried this out a minute ago and the sounds are well, here we go. They have literally sampled the film. Regroup, rebuild, and retake our home. 
But we must find refuge first. You will travel to Earth. Once we gather, the others will join you. You must protect the planet. If the Decepticons find it, then our people are truly finished. Stay safe, soldier. I am coming. So Optimus is coming. Um, there's three or four of them. They are literally just samples from the film. Um, and they do go on a bit. Optimus Prime doesn't say a lot in the film, so I think they pretty much just sampled everything he does say. There also seems to be one from Soundwave, uh, which was odd, but hey. Um, it's cool, I like it. It does have a tendency for some of the lights to turn off randomly. I think they're on a timer. Um, is the base worth buying it for? Probably not. Um, it's cool. I have an issue that whenever I put my figures on a base, um, I run out of space. So, will it stay on the base? Will it stay plugged in? I doubt the answer is yes to either of those questions. Uh, but hey, it's pretty cool. Um, and it's got a good little novelty value, and I will probably keep on in space for a little while just to amuse myself. Um, Okay, so last thing I wanted to have a quick show of was how this dude compares to other um, B-movie Optimus Primes, uh, of which there are millions. Um, I will only go with a couple of them. Um, so let's start with the obvious one, which is 3A Optimus Prime. Or 3 zero. I always forget which way around it is. Uh, da, 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 da. So, size-wise, they are pretty same on the height front. Uh, 3A is slightly crisp on the detail, um, pretty much because he doesn't transform. He doesn't have to worry about plonking all of his alt mode somewhere into his body, which means that he has a cleaner, tidier back and posability is definitely better from that sort of perspective. I don't know if I can get him to do it. He's got like a really cool ab crunch with the uh, spine coming up like that, which is awesome. Um, he... His back... It's, it's a bit more chunky. He's got a bit of a backpack thing going on there. Uh, but he does transform, so his alt mode is almost entirely there, which is quite stunning, actually. Um, very much like the, uh, the, the 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 actual Hasbro version uh, and the, um, the 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 knockoffs thereof. Uh, yeah, Ooh, I think his mouth plate seems to move. I don't know whether that's something to do with his. Uh, where the batteries go. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'll have a look at that button in a minute. Uh, so also, let's compare it to a transforming version. I haven't got much room on my desk. This is most disconcerting. So this is... This is the... Uh, is this the Black Mambo one? Or is this the AI Mambo one? It's one of the two, I forget. It's the better one anyway. Um, which is basically a KO, uh, oversized KO of the uh, of the Hasbro version. Um, this dude is, again, he's a bit taller. This one's chunkier. This one's uh, uh, just generally more of a chunk fest. Um, because it's an oversized KO of the, the, the Hasbro version, it just, they, they always tend to be a little bit chunkier. Um, he's got a big face um, and his uh, backpack sort of equally, equally chunksome. Um, this is the better of the two, or three or four actually, uh, KO um, oversized versions. Uh, and again, has light up eyes, Ooh, a little bit dull, uh, but this 
in terms of detail and quality and posability, seems to wee all over this guy. Um, the Toy World one, it looks almost on a par with the with the with the 3A version. Um, the detailing on it is exceptional. Uh, the it doesn't look like a transforming toy. Um, it looks like a display piece, like the 3A one. Uh, with the exception of the issue I'm having with his saggy tummy, um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's incredible. I can't quite believe that this thing is going to trans uh, turn into a truck. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I can see sort of under his armpit that there's some transformation gubbins just sort of waiting to be folded out. Um, it, it, it does look like a display piece rather than a toy. Um, and I think at this point, without having a proper, proper good play with him, that's all I've really got to say. Um, I think the figure itself is definitely worth the money if you can get hold of one. Um, either the deluxe version or the non-deluxe version seem to be par for the course in terms of quality and, and, and general look. It's amazing, I love it. Uh, in terms of the extras that you get, there's a lot of them. Are they worth it? I think the difference is about 30 or 40 quid. I can't remember offhand. I'm sure I'll uh, pop something in either the comments or uh, 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 I'll get Simon to put something in there. Um, but uh, I, I, I would say if you can get the standard version, you may as well. This. The extras, they're just not, they're good, but they're not great. Um, and it's only if you're going to display it with the base, and uh, maybe with these sort of behind him, this bronculous gun. Who's ever going to have Optimus Prime pose as a sniper? It's a cool gun, but why? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Um, I'm going to now spend several hours playing with him and find somewhere on my shelf to put it. I'm just going to quickly grab B-Movie Bumblebee to uh, put with him. There we go. There's your B, whatever. Okay. See, that's the 3A Bumblebee and the Toy World Prime. They, they, look, they look good enough together. You, you couldn't really tell that they're made by two different companies. Uh, I'd imagine he would go really nicely with uh, Zeta Pioneer. Um, which is how I probably will display him. Cool, right, I'm gonna stop rambling now and Simon can edit this down to a healthy, lesser amount of time. Goodbye. Okay, turns out I've been a bit of a plum. Uh, the faceplate that I thought went boobly wobbly, if you press it in, his eyes light up. Um, and also, what I didn't realise is the gun, uh, this one anyway, um, has a dirt great button there, which I hadn't noticed. Um, so if you press it, it makes pew pew noises. If you press it once, single pew. If you hold it down, multi pew. But that's not all. Add the War for Cybertron Siege Blast Effect. Lights up! So cool. So cool. Well done, Tactics Waistcoat. Well done.
fingers on plastic.